Just a little disclaimer. I love Steven Universe. This series is done purely for fun and to point out some flaws in Steven Universe logic, not for any malicious or defaming intentions. Thank you. God fucking damn you to hell. You got the goods? Oh, I've got gooder than the goods. Oh, God. If you need a great actor, you are come to the right guy! Just stop trying to be funny. You aren't. The tall, ruggedly handsome man- Bitch, this crew member is taller than him, and he lost a fucking foot! And then William Dewey grows into a 50-foot giant and carries the boat safely to shore. About the quality of a typical Steven Universe script, I guess. When did you get so smart? He never did, Pearl. Why is this flower not colored in over here, but colored outside of the lines here? Boom! Ah! Ding! Sour Cream and Jenny are sitting next to Lars and Sadie in this shot, but when Pearl goes to change seats, they disappear. Wonder what they're doing. Also, if we just zoom in right over here, we can see the amalgamation of all my inner suffering and torment. So this hand formation makes both a dolphin and a sad face? The ocean can't be that big! Now, of course, I'm gonna be sending this part as if what Pearl wrote down is what William and his crew actually said back then, but... How can you think that while being a captain of a ship crew? Humans aren't very good swimmers. Stole that straight from when you first met Garnet. Good job. This. Just this image. Just the fact that this was conceived. And storyboarded. And colored. And animated. Okay, I can get the costumes and props being set up in a day, but how do you make cardboard cutouts of tentacles, get a lever to trigger it, and set up the mechanisms required for the tentacles to be triggered by said lever in less than a day with only you two? That's what makes me great! Don't think he broke out into an Italian accent. I'm alive! Mind explaining how he survived? Uh-oh. <laughs> Sometimes it's just gotta make the audience happy. That's why you always end on a joke. God damn it, Steven, why is it so hard to hate you sometimes? Do I even need to put in a joke for this? I think the joke pretty much wrote itself.